Hey, hey, what's up? How you doing today? Old Leroy again. Um, I'll show you how to fix this uh, little home light 33cc chainsaw to power stroke 33cc. That's all I know on the model number. Uh, this one was only running when the choke was uh, on full choke or barely cracked open. And that's the only time it would run. So I believe the problem was the clogged, little, tiny little clogged holes underneath the Welch plug. So thanks to Zombie Dave out in Tucson for sharing a, his clip on that. But uh, I'll make a separate clip talking about that some more. Um, first things first on these, you'll need a T25 Torx bit. They're just three screws that hold this top cover off. Then you can use the same size bit on the air cleaner assembly, two screws in the top. Uh, be sure and clean that out. And I use some overpriced K&N air filter oil. Surely somebody, I'm sure somebody's got a, a uh, store brand or whatever. It's cheaper than that stuff, but it doesn't take much on these little things. Um, I'm not real familiar with these smaller carburetors or engines, so I'm cutting my teeth, but we wind up replacing the carburetor. And I thought I had the wrong one because the throttle linkage is not on the right side. Bear with me a second. So then you'll need a 3 8 nut driver, preferably for the carburetor screws. I just got one holding it on. But the new carburetor, this is the new carburetor. It's a Walbro. The old one is a little different. And I'm going to make a separate clip about that. It's got one Phillips head screw in the top. The new one has two in the top. And it has like no brand name. It's Ruxing or something different. But the new one didn't have the throttle shaft. Didn't have the, wasn't long enough. And so it wouldn't work on the linkage over here. So I swapped it out. And I'll make a separate clip on that. But... I uh, had to replace the primer bulb that was, you can get one of those for a little over $5. Um, the kit we got actually came with another one and a new plug. This is a WX plug. It's a uh, L7T. And it's kind of hard to take this carburetor off and on a little bit. You've got to loosen up that throttle linkage first on the bottom down here where it connects to the trigger. And then you can get it loose. You'll want the uh, choke, you got to take some needle nose or regular slip joint pliers and pull that cotter pin out and get that loose. Then leave it in the open position and it comes out easier. The uh, bottom hose here goes right to the primer bulb. The top hose goes down to the tank. Um, oh, I forgot to mention, I did open this uh, idle speed screw up a up to a 5 16 so you can get any kind of number two Phillips head screwdriver in there easier. Um, crap, I'm having a brain fart here. What was I going to say? Um, so yeah, you'll have to I'll take this little plastic piece off. It goes right there. You'll have to loosen up the, uh, the side cover there. Yeah, so 3 8 nut driver for the carburetor, same size on the muffler if you need to take it off. It's a, if you need to service the spark arrestor on the side of the muffler, it is a T20 Torx bit. And uh, sometimes that gets clogged up, you gotta clean it out. And I think that's it for now. I'll make a separate clip talking about the carburetor. Thanks, take care, bye.